At six years old, I was homeless. I wasn't sure where my next meal would come from. I wasn't sure where I would lay my head on some nights. But was I, I, what I was sure about was that I was going to make it somehow because I had a strong mother. Uh, you know, over a decade ago, after 9-11, when I was Surgeon General under uh, George Bush's administration, we worked tirelessly to put in place the preparedness programs that the nation needed after 9-11 to include those with bio, against bioagents. We're taking middle-aged disease and ratcheting it down in a cohort of youngsters who are sedentary, spend far too much time on playstations and not enough on the playground, eat indiscriminately, don't have access to the right food, grow up in single parent families, latchkey kids, all of the terminology that we use, that we understand the social determinants of health, which are so important and extricably intertwined with the health of the nation. You can't fix the health problem until you deal with the socioeconomic determinants of health. They have to be done in tandem. If you do one or the other, it's not going to advance the health significantly of the nation and therefore will not decrease the disease and economic burden that we experience in the nation. Thing as preventable patient death. Tell us what that is. Well, these are caused by medical errors. You know, it's a very busy hospital, a clinic, people are moving in and out, and, and things that you take for granted sometimes fall through the cracks. So, you know, every year we have thousands of people that are injured and die needlessly because they get the wrong medication, okay? We have people that sometimes get the wrong leg amputated, okay? So there's been a lot of movement, and this patient safety movement organization that Joe Chiani started a number of years ago is addressing those issues. Let's see how we can identify the risks and eliminate them so patients are much more safe within the hospital environment. I went to the UAE. One of the biggest problems they had, obesity epidemic that's drowning them, okay? And as I, when I went to India, same thing. So you start to see this is really a global phenomenon. We're all interconnected and the solutions are global. As Philippe mentioned, it's not about solving it in Aspen. It's not about solving it in Tucson, Arizona. It's not, all right. These are all global issues because we are all inextricably interconnected with so many other people. General, to understand what Dr. Pomeroy talked about today that we've characterized academically, the social determinants of health, which are inextricably tied to the health of any individual, any family, any community, or any nation, or in fact, the whole world. If you don't understand those linkages, you're never going to be able to be successful in health.